And I don't know if that's weird, and I don't know if I sound strange, but I do believe that the universe does want me to rope dart. I always believed in hard work, and that if you wanted to do something, you should go out and try to be the best version of yourself with regard to that thing. The rope dart gave that to me, I think. I truly believe the universe wants me to rope dart. And the only reason I say that is because I'm still doing it. I've competed all over the world with the rope. I've competed more than 50 times with a rope dart. And I've lost big. And just thinking of those times, if I wasn't meant to do it, I probably would have stopped a long time ago. One of the best ways somebody can exercise, I think the cardiovascular endurance, the explosive power, the uh, everything about it when it comes to actual physical performance. You know, I think we're all born with natural talents that we should hone. And I feel like society or the way we're brought up is for us to focus more on our weaknesses as opposed to our strengths. And then if you are always focusing on your weaknesses, you're not feeling good about it and you probably don't want to do things and you're not feeling that great. Uh, and we have natural talents where if we, we think that we're good at it or other people think we're good at it, we're told to not work on it and to instead work on our weaknesses. But I think that's a mistake. I think we should all focus our our minds on our strengths, on our natural strengths, on our natural talents. I think everyone has a passion. They know what it is. You can ask them. They might say they don't know what it is, but the second you ask them in their mind, it will appear, bam, just like that. They will know exactly what it is that they were put on this earth to do. I encourage people to go after their dreams. I was a school teacher. I left that to rope dart. I want to bring the rope dart to the world. I wanted to help everyone that can possibly be helped by it. I wanted to touch people's mind, body, and soul the way that it touched my mind, body, and soul. You know, if you get something out of what I'm doing with a rope dart, that's great and more power to you. But I don't think that I'm any more special than anyone else and if you could be inspired by me then I could certainly be inspired by you because we're all a mirror of each other. You know for so long it was lonely there weren't a lot of rope artists out there. When I started rope darting media learning sites like Facebook, YouTube didn't even exist yet. There was no forums, you couldn't ask anybody anything. There was nothing. I would still practice every single day, and the smallest, I tell you, I would get a shot, I would just do a simple spin to a shot, and I would be jumping up and down. You know, it was cool because later on, it started growing. This internal love I was feeling started to grow. And what I come to realize was that this love was the rope dart for me, uh, an expression of that love, a manifestation, a physical living expression. And I don't know if that's weird, and I don't know if I sound strange, but I do believe that the universe does want me to rope dart. You know, my dream of rope darting comes from the universal mind. So, of course, the universal mind wants me to rope dart more. I'm gonna keep spreading it. I'm not stopping. You know, it is it is uh, a long road. I have great people that I've been with. It's amazing. Well, it's this whole huge thing of people that love this thing and are good to each other and set an example for others. It really is quite wonderful. I never thought it would grow to be this. I was some guy literally rope darting outside on my street. I didn't, you know, that that's what it was. That's that's the space I had. And I think that's the space a lot of people have. And if that is you, good, keep doing it. You'll get there.
Hopefully you guys were as inspired as I was by Frank's passion for rope dance and martial arts. And when I first heard of him, I was really inspired by him and that's why I reached out to him wanting to share his message. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna leave a link somewhere for you guys to check out his website where you can find instructional videos on how to learn the art of rope dart. That's about it. Have a nice day.